Hi, fellow entrepreneurs. So this is a bit, the, by the way, this is Eva. I'm the owner of Booming Beats and I'm also a leadership and business success coach. And uh, I made, a, I'm making a video for all of you guys, entrepreneurs out there that are looking to grow your business, be profitable, and you want to be a powerful leader that makes a real difference, powerful and effective leader. But what you're mostly dealing with, if you are like majority of the solopreneurs and entrepreneurs out there, what you're dealing with is you're unclear and you have no idea how you're going to get there. You also are feeling a lot of overwhelm and you don't know what to do first. There's so many things you could be doing. You should be going to networking meetings. You should be doing online marketing, offline marketing, Facebook, Twitter, all this stuff. And you feel constant overwhelm of I'm not doing enough. You also don't seem to be sure about how to get there. What's the strategy? What's the step? Am I doing the right thing? Where's this going? And the more you find out, the more you learn, you seem to be starting over quite a bit with your, with your business, how you package your product or your offering, if you're a coach, your packages, things like that. So today, I really, well, first of all, I do a longer webinar on this and there is a sign up on my website, firstnamelastname.com, evapalakova.com with an I. And there's a sign up for a webinar that, and I'm going to include it when I send this out. And I go to into more detail about this, but today I want to give you just the really, really quick and dirty short version. Because here's the thing, I've been there. When I opened the restaurant, I was there working 18 hours a day and doing everything. I was falling into one of these traps that it takes more time to coach somebody else and create a system than do it myself. And I had this a little bit of a, what do you call it? A little bit of the accuser profile of seeing other people as less, less, not like less capable, but seeing myself as the only one who could do it the best. So I wound up a not being a great leader and doing everything myself instead of building a system, a set of systems for my business. Okay. So today I want to talk to you about four key steps to owning a business that works for you and not the other way around. So the number one key step is you have to transform your own power and your own leadership first before anything else. Your leadership, your power, your capacity has to be always one step ahead of your business. And I think of transforming your leadership as growing a tomato plant. Plant. And just to be frank, I've never actually grown anything that hasn't died. So I don't know much about growing tomatoes. But what you're going to do when you want to grow a tomato, probably, is you want to pull all the weeds and then you want to give it some sunlight. And it's kind of the same when you think of your leadership as the tomato plant. You're going to pull out the weeds, all the things that hold you back, and you're going to bring in more power. So how do you do that? pulling the weeds. What are, what could, what are those weeds? Well, number one is your unproductive thoughts and feelings that create ways of being about your business. And you get to systematically, systematically transform one after one, every single belief and thought and ways of being that holds you back. Number two, your self-sabotaging behaviors. And I've talked about this before. And for those of you who have read the book by Gay Hendricks, we all have an internal thermostat that determines how much success in our business we can enjoy, how much happiness we can enjoy. And that's set when you're very little. It's very subconscious. It's very subtle. But every time you get a little more successful and you go past your thermostat ceiling, you will subconsciously do something to bring your success down and to sabotage your success. So you got to be very facile with what it is that you do. 
What is the behaviors? What is the actions that take, that sabotage you? Okay, so that's number two. Number three, I forgot what number three was. I'm blanking. Thoughts? On, oh, yes, blind spots and, and anything that is inauthentic. And you really got to start looking and start asking people, hey, what's the things that I do that are really characteristic to me that I don't see? Because usually you see those things about other people. That's why you hire a coach so they can see through your stuff and you can uncover all these things that you do that don't serve you as a leader. So that's pulling out the weeds. The second part of this is to bring in the sun, bringing in the power as power of your leadership. And what's that look like? Well, you get to say, so you start with being clear, being getting clear about who you want to be. Who's the kind of human being that makes the kind of difference? And then you get to use the power of mental rehearsal to basically rehearse and imagine yourself and visualize yourself into that way of being. And I go more into detail in my webinar in my coaching programs, but that's the gist of it. Number two, key step to owning a business that works for you is what I call the 33, 33, 33 rule. Okay. What is it? Uh, what is the rule is how you split your time. 33% of your time should be spent working on your leadership. What does that mean? Exactly what I just talked about. Pulling out the weeds, bringing in the power, putting yourself outside the comfort zone. So you set up the new normal, the new, new normal, courageous, bold, whatever it is for your way of being. Then educating yourself, listening to audiobooks. I love audiobooks because they don't take time. You can listen to audiobooks around leadership and about any any area of your business while you're doing laundry, while you're hiking, while you're driving, anytime. And you can log, I log probably one to two hours of audiobooks a day at least, sometimes more when I'm doing a bunch of manual labor that doesn't require my attention, like cleaning my house. Okay. The... So that's the, that's the first third of your time should be spent working on your leadership. Second third of your time should be spent every day working on your business, not in your business. You gotta be work on your business. You gotta have a mindset of a business leader. You can't be stuck doing the manual labor of your business. For instance, if you're a coach, you should not be sp spending, try to sp be spending all your time teaching and coaching. You should be spending a third of your time working on your business. So you can develop the systems and work yourself out of your business. You gotta start figuring out what are the things that you're doing that you don't have to be doing and create systems to either automate them or outsource them. That's what you gotta do. And the last third, you can work working in your business. And here's the thing about that. You gotta start with writing down all the things that you do in your business and you have to pick just two or three that you really love doing, that you wouldn't let go. This is why you own a business. You love doing these things. So for me at the restaurant, for example, I love talking to people and customers, and I love coaching my team. Those are the two things I love doing. I do it 10 hours a week. I don't do any of the ordering, hiring, firing, training, uh, cooking, um, none of that stuff. None of that stuff because, A, I don't love doing it. B, I can put systems around it so that somebody else does it. And it applies to any kind of business, okay? So that's the last one. Rule number three, start when you are building a business, no matter what stage you're at right now, you got to start and have the very clear picture of where you're headed. Where is this going? What's the final outcome? What does your business look like when it's done? And you got to paint a really, really, and I provide to people in my uh, program, my 12 week program, I give them worksheets for how this is done. Okay. So you got to start with what your business will look like, what will your financials look like, what's the kind of impact, how many people you'll be impacting every day, every week, every year, how much are these people paying you? What's your global revenue? What's your profit? How much do you pay yourself? What's your lifestyle like? How many people, your organizational structure, what that's going to look like? What kind of role you have to fill? What's their skills? And you got to start with that and being very clear. I have an image in it, a, a, a image in your head, sorry, about what that's going to look like, including the kind of office space you'll have. And then you start building your way. You start building your path to get there. Okay. But you got to start with the end goal. So that's rule number, or 
key step number three. Key step number four is that you always, 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 always have to think prop your profits first. Here's the thing. Here's the sad thing about businesses. 90% or more of business owners do not pay themselves. They do not pay themselves the profit. It's a big mistake. You get up however little you have to pay yourself the profit and you have to treat it as an expense. You have to make it non-negotiable. And here's the thing. There's a whole book about it. Um, Michael, you know what? I'll just post the link under the video when I send it out because I don't remember the last name. But if you can run your business on $1,000 expenses a month, you can run it 950 of expenses a month and you can pay yourself the $50. If you can run your business of 10000 you can run it on 9500 and pay yourself. You have to treat your profit as a non-negotiable, as an expense and pay yourself first. And you have to, the way it works is your brain will just figure out the way to cover the rest of expenses. It will happen. Don't worry about it. You have to pay yourself first. So that's the key step number four. Okay. So that's all I have for you, my uh, entrepreneurs out there. Um, email me, sign up for the webinar. I'm going to send out a link. You're going to learn more. And um, I look forward to hearing whatever questions you might have about it.